Hey folks, how you doing? Steve here. Just a quick video and it's going to be about just a, a really tiny, tiny modification that I made to the trailer today. Really more so an addition on relocate them at that point. So the tiny addition today is simply this. I watched someone's tool trailer video. They had a kind of a build out similar to Ron Polk, you know, no surprise, uh, you know, with, with uh, you know, finding one of those online. And uh, this guy went in and he was not plugged into shore power, but he had a toggle switch. And when he toggled it, he had a bank of LEDs or he had uh, some LED lights like this up there. And basically it was when he wasn't in plugged into shore power, he actually had um, a DeWalt battery converter that had leads coming out of the end. So just capped on top of a 20 volt battery had leads coming out of the end. And I've seen these online. I've researched it. And then those leads he wired in uh, to a switch into L some LEDs. And so he actually using his 20 volt system with one battery had lights in his trailer, nothing else, but he had lights in his trailer. I thought that was cool. I did not want to go to the expense or the trouble to like wire a new switch in and, and everything else. So I kind of went the semi ghetto route. So here's what I've got. Let me flip this around. There we go. All right. So battery charging bank and my 18 volt stuff is all gone here. And so here are my batteries. You know, I just kind of set them up here. Well, in this case, what I have is a battery that was shattered that I was able to repair. So it'll charge and it uh, will, will function, but I'm suspicious of how resilient and durable this battery will be. So I have an 18 to 20 volt converter. This is just a Chinese knockoff and I'm very happy with it at the moment. And I'm using basically the USB, B, excuse me, the USB port for this. So that line runs out of here, goes way back that way, down through here, down through my battery cord port, picks it up there, comes up and actually hooks right into an LED ribbon light that traces its way all the way down that way. And for convenience, I have a remote control right here. So if I click, I can't see, sorry about that. If I click on, and there we go. So this is without anything other than my 20 volt battery. And this is what I have, which would be enough to come into a dark trailer, no shore power and be able to do something. Now, granted, this is a first world problem in that almost always I have this hanging right there. This is a flashlight. Okay. And if that's not enough, I have two flashlights right there. So with that being said, you know, am I really without light? Probably not. In matter of fact, I have charging one of my headsets, which is a USB charging or uh, rechargeable. So this is just a, a convenience for the cost of those LEDs right there, which are uh, something that you can set up around your computer screen and the lights will dance and bounce around with music and the, uh, Remote control is programmable on um, right there you go. So it's programmable to make it do all those things as well. I just have it set on yellow, brightest, and just on. It's not on auto or anything like that. And I think I have, it looks like timers. So if I wanted to, I could hit a one hour timer and just make sure I'm not running that battery down. But other than that, this is very, very convenient. Now at the moment, I am honestly, I am plugged into shore power. So this LED ribbon, which comes down this way. Not really super bright, but in the dark, it's gonna be something, and that ain't nothing. Comes around here, comes down this way, and then travels all the way back down, more or less in parallel with my actual set there. So this is what I've got, all right? So, yeah, that looks kinda cool. All right, now, when I am plugged into shore power, I am greeted by that light automatically being on and it's way brighter than you can see there. And that's, this is maximum brightness of these things. And so there I just have many, many more LEDs per inch. They are brighter than that. But this is what I see when I'm plugged in. They just automatically come on. And then of course, if I have shore power, I can do that. So, so it's a matter of convenience. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, just one little thing that I could do that re did not require any major issues whatsoever. Uh, the hardest part was actually feeding the battery, feeding the line through the hole to get it up to that battery port. Uh, so, you know, not too shabby. Otherwise, uh, just like I said, quick video here, just uh, 
just a quick video here just showing you a little bit of an addition to the trailer. Um, I'll let you know how it works out. I don't anticipate it's going to be bad. Um, it's just a convenience, and that's all that is. All right, well, hey, thanks a lot for sticking with me, folks. You take care. Be safe. Thanks. And one thing I forgot on that just previous video when I was elaborating on my little hack on the LEDs is when I open the trailer, what does it look like at night? If I'm plugged into shore power, this is what I actually am greeted with. Let me step back here a little bit. Stepping on tools. All right. And so it's kind of light out here, but it is really dark. The, the This isn't picking it up. This actually is accenting everything. But anyway, and, and I do have my shed lights on. But if I... When I open up the doors, this is what I'm greeted with because those LEDs automatically turn on. And so that gives me the light right there uh, when I open up the trailer if I'm plugged into shore power. If I am not, then I have that opportunity there or, you know, I just grab one of my flashlights and just make it all happen. So, all right, well, there you go. I didn't know if I'd shown exactly what it looks like with shore power before, of course, I flip on the lights right down here. And then have all kinds of light, right? All right. Well, thanks a lot for sticking with me. Bye.